Hi everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Breathless Ministry Church and Ministry. And today I want to talk to you about, about why does God not listen to your prayer? So, the, you know, people say, I pray to God all the time and He doesn't listen to my prayer. So, first of all, let me say that if you're an unbeliever, you don't have fellowship with God. And the only prayer that God listens, obviously God hears your prayer. But He doesn't answer your prayer. So, uh, the only prayer that he does answer is the prayer of salvation, where you turn over to, to God, you submit to God, and you accept him as your Lord and Savior. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today, because you're not an unbeliever. You're a believer. So a lot of believers will pray to God, and they won't get an answer. So what's the reason behind that? Well, from the beginning of time, from the beginning, when Adam and Eve sinned against God, they broke fellowship with God. And they no longer had that face-to-face -face communication that they had with God because God was working, uh, walking in the, in the garden and they were able to have a conversation with him face-to-face. -face. And so when Adam and Eve fell into sin, what happened was they broke that fellowship. From that time, God developed a plan and that is to bring his son to redeem us, redeem us so that we could have once again fellowship with, with, with God, okay? And so we could come directly to our Father and make requests in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Uh, and the uh, Lord Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for the forgiveness of our sins so that our sins no longer um, um, can be used against us. Uh, and so he, he suffered on the cross, shed his blood for the forgiveness of our sin, was buried for three days, and he rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He was the ultimate sacrifice for all sin. So, his death, burial, and resurrection, his sacrifice, redeemed us from the original sin of Adam and Eve. And so, now we have fellowship to Father God through Jesus Christ, through his, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ brings us back into fellowship with God the Father. So now, because we, uh, you know, when God the Father looks at us, he doesn't no longer looks at us as sinners, but he looks at us as, you know, the righteous, he looks at the righteousness of Jesus Christ in us. So, you know, you could, you could sin, you could sin, but that sin is what prevents you from really having fellowship with God. So what, what, what I'm trying to say is when you say a prayer, when you say a prayer and God doesn't answer that prayer, most of the time you need to analyze your life and see if you are in any sin. Uh, so, you know, if you're in sin, more than likely, especially habitual sin. And habitual sin is, for example, if you're fornicating and you're not planning to give that away or stop doing it, then uh, what's going to happen is more than likely you're going to inhibit the prayers to God because God, um, sin prevents us from having fellowship with God, okay? So what is the solution to reestablishing our fellowship with God, so that God will start hearing our prayers again. The answer to that is repentance, so turning away from that sin. So turning away from that sin, and we're not perfect. I'm not saying we're perfect. None of us are perfect. I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. And everybody else watching this uh, video is a sinner. So I'm telling you that repentance means that you, 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 um, you understand that fornication is a sin. And they make a sincere and true commitment to turn away from that sin. They tell the Lord, Lord, I no longer want to uh, do that. I want to follow you. And because I want to have a relationship with you. And God really knows your heart. Really, God knows whether you are willing to turn away from that or you're just saying it. It's just words coming out of you. So, you know, when you really mean that, when you really mean that, the Lord honors that. And he reestablishes fellowship with you. He listens to your prayers. So it's important that, you know, if you know you're sinning, turn away from that sin so that you can have a true relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And God will listen to your prayer. Um, once you confess your sins, once you ask God to forgive you for your sins and he forgives you, those sins can no longer be used against you. All right. So even in ministry, when uh, the devil will bring up, uh, you know, somebody's sin in the past. We always tell him, you can't, according to Romans 8, 1, you can't use that sin against this person. 
and then you know that that breaks legal right okay so it's important for you if you really want to have a relationship with our lord jesus christ unhindered unhindered relationship you need to try to be um as holy as possible be holy as i am holy says the lord all right so you have to make sure that you stay stay away from sin and that you follow god so that you can have a true relationship so when you pray to him Right, he answers the prayer. Okay, so just like he can bless, uh, he can bless sin. If you're living in a uh, sinful lifestyle, don't think God's gonna bless you. He's not going to, because he cannot bless sin. Same thing with uh, with uh, with prayer. You know, God won't listen to your prayer if you're living in a sinful lifestyle. If you're if you're a person that's unrepentant about your sin, he's not gonna listen to you. So th what this means is, we all have sins, right? We all have things that we do. And that's just part of being human. But there's the, what I'm talking about is more like um, habitual or repentant sin. Sin that you know is really bad, but you still do it. That really breaks um, fellowship with God. All right. Anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you. If you have any questions, place it below. Share it with other people. I think people need to know this so they can have a true relationship with our Lord and be blessed. Um, I think... Um, I think that uh, a lot of times these videos don't get enough exposure because they're pretty sure they're about one or two minutes. This one's about six minutes. But I think you'll find them uh, very interesting. And uh, I ask you to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Share it with people. People don't know this information. Okay? And uh, God bless you. We are a deliverance ministry and a church here in Maryland. But we also have, we minister to people all around the world. So if you need ministry, I'll place the website below. And we would love to help you. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.